Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at a differentiation question that involves um, a quotient rule, a product rule, and a chain rule all in the one question. So here's the question here. Uh, y is equal to this. You are, you're asked to differentiate uh, this function here. So when we look at it first, it's quite clearly a quotient. We have one thing on top of another. So we're going to use the quotient rule. So we'll go ahead and we'll write down our u is equal to x cos squared x and our v is equal to 2x cubed plus 2. Now dv dx is easy enough. dv dx is the derivative of the bottom line. So 3 by 2 is 6x squared plus 0. Now differentiating this to find du dx, the top line, well, that's actually a product rule, isn't it? So we have x times cos squared x. So that's a product rule. So I'm going to have to differentiate this separately. So let me take that down here. So x cos squared x. It's a product rule. That's u and that is v. So let's use the product rule now. u is equal to x. So du dx is equal to 1. v is equal to cos squared x dv dx. Well, if we look at this, cos squared x is the same as cos x squared. And this is actually a chain rule. So now we've gone from a quotient rule, inside that we have a product rule, and inside the product rule we have a chain rule. So we need to differentiate this cos squared x. So to differentiate cos squared x, we bring down the 2, so it's 2 cos x, and then you differentiate what's inside the bracket, so that's times the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So that gives us minus 2 cos x sin x. Okay, so let's now put this back into here and write out our product rule to get this part. So here's the product rule, u dv dx plus v du dx. So that's going to be on this here. So u, that's x. dv dx is this, so times minus 2 cos x sin x plus v, there's v, plus cos squared x times du dx, which is 1. So let me tidy this up a little bit. I can just multiply in this x in here. So I get minus 2x cos x sine x. And then cos squared x times 1 is just cos squared x. So that there is my product. So that goes into here my product. So now I'm back to doing this, which was my quotient rule. So I have my quotient rule here, v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. This is u, this is du dx, this is v, this is dv dx. So v du dx. So v is 2x cubed plus 2 times du dx, which is this long one here, minus 2x cos x sine x plus cos squared x. Then I have minus u dv dx, so minus u is x cos squared x, x cos squared x times dv dx, which is 6x squared. 
I'll have a little bit of tidying up to do on this top line in a moment. And this is all over v squared. Well, v is this here, 2x cubed plus 2. So that's over 2x cubed plus 2, all to be squared. Now, there's not a whole lot of tidying up that I'm going to do. I'm not going to go multiplying out these brackets here because that's just going to make it even more complicated. I'll tidy up over here by multiplying the 6x squared by this x and bringing it out in front. And on the bottom, I'm not going to square it out either. Just leave it in brackets to be squared. So, therefore, dy dx, my derivative that I'm looking for, is 2x cubed plus 2 times minus 2x cos x sine x plus cos squared x, close brackets, minus 6x squared by x is 6x cubed cos squared x, all over 2x cubed plus 2 to be squared. Now, that question is probably one of the tougher ones that you could be asked in terms of using the product rule, the quotient rule, and the sign rule. They all appear in the one question, um, and you end up with this big, long thing here um, that you wouldn't be expected to simplify, or if they did want you to simplify it, they'd say to write it in a particular form, and in which case you could uh, you could manipulate it to get it into that form they might ask you to use some of your trig identities or something like that to simplify what's going on here um, but they will give you the form that they want it in okay so thanks for watching if you have any questions just ask in the comments below and i'll see you next time